Yo, what is up everyone? This is Nane and or Nanatim bringing you yet another Genshin Impact video. And in today's video, we're going to be covering city reputations and bounties in particular. Uh, now, city reputations, it, you kind of got to choose which one. Do you want to do Monsa? Do you want to do Leeway? And you, gotta fo you, you want to focus that one until you get to whatever reward you're going for with it. Uh, with Leeway, I'm right here next to Miss Yu. Uh, she is the Leeway City Reputation Lady, and let's check out the rewards right down here. Um, you can see I'm already level 3. This was purely from just my exploration and my uh, quest completion, which it's going to show up as not 100% done, but I had all the quests done before 1.1 came out, and now that we're, we're in 1.1, we have additional quests, so it's saying 26 out of 34. Um, so I need to complete the new quest in order to 100% that out. But from just having world completion 100% and 26 out of 34, I already managed to get level 3. I'm already level 3 in Monsa as well, so it's very easy to get to level 3. Um, but pretty much, you're going to want to focus on uh, whether... I don't know why I backed out and then back in. But uh, you need to decide whether you want the cooking stove or if you want the waypoint and the nre which the nre is the one that lets you like quick use food during combat um because right here you're gonna be get, you're gonna be able to get the condensed resin g oculus resin stone cooking stove and the geo treasure compass um that's pretty much all of the special features out of here you get these recipes as well and these little name cards and then you get the uh wings but I heavily suggest that you focus on Mondstadt first so that you can get the portable waypoint and then you can also get the NRE. Um, both of those are going to be very good. Mondstadt's the one that I'm going to be focusing first on. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into the actual bounty. Um, I'm going to jump over here. We're going to grab a bounty from the Mondstadt lady for it. Um, so really quickly with this, the bounties, these are weekly progress. Um, you can it applies to all cities as it says right here so if you complete one in monsa it's going to count as one out of three in leeway as well so you can only complete three bounties every week i would highly suggest you just pick the hardest one um they are pretty difficult uh, i did i did a five star one uh just earlier and i'm not you know mega boosted up i don't have all my characters at you know c3 or c4 or anything like that um but it was a pretty difficult. It was hitting me for about half my uh, Razor's health, which my Razor has like 16,000 health, and it was hitting me for like 8,000 and stuff. So um, do be a little wary. You definitely want to try and dodge everything they throw at you. Um, now, it did have... The, these do have special traits. Um, as you can see right here as target intel, uh, the road that leads to Thousand Winds Temple... Um, so it'll put a big circle on your map showing you kind of where it is and then you have to actually use your elemental sight to find little traces of it and find uh, footprints and then you eventually find the actual target. Um, but you're going to be getting increasing amounts of Mora and the uh, city reputation. So I would definitely say just do the biggest bounty. You can do three of any of the bounties that you want every single week. So, uh, you can do three five-star bounties. Um, but right here, we're going to hit accept bounty on the five-star right here. You can see target special traits. Um, according to intelligence, the target is the following special trait and vulnerable to physical damage. This is going to mean he does not take any damage from basic attacks, unless if it is from a catalyst user. Um, additionally, the target has the following weakness, takes increased elemental damage. So, pretty much what that means is, you really want to use a catalyst user for this they're going to you know do increased damage melee users will not do any damage um but that's not that big of a deal we have razor we have Deluc, we have um Zhongling. we'll just use these three i don't have any good catalyst users um but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the actual bounty part Let's see, where did it go to? So, Thousand Winds Temple, right over here. It's the road leading up to it. Once you get within this zone, you have 10 minutes to find three different tracks. Um, you have to use your elemental sight 
and it'll pop up a little swirly like that and you just gotta follow those around and they'll lead you to the tracks. Um, it's a pretty big area. The first time I did a bounty I didn't realize that it told me to use my elemental sight um, and so I was just kind of running around aimlessly really wondering where this target was like I, I had searched the entire area for 10 minutes and I didn't find anything. Let's see. Wow, we're still not at a footprint, uh, a track yet. Oh wait, I passed it. Okay, it's saying it's right here. Is it up the tree, maybe? Okay, this is weird. Did it go like underneath the ground or something? <laughs> oh, that was the track. What the heck? Okay. That so I guess items can be the tracks as well. Um, cause wasn't that a sweet flower that I just picked up? I thought that was a sweet flower. Anyways, it shows there's another track probably right around here. Um. I'm probably just blind. It was probably telling me to go to that exact point the entire time. Okay, no, yeah, it is the items themselves. The items themselves are the tracks. I did not notice. Uh, the first target that I did, that wasn't the case. Uh, that was not the case at all. Um, it just had little markers kind of set up. But that's cool that items can be the tracks as well. So keep that in mind, items can be the tracks. Let's see, we're heading over this way. We're trying to find the last footprint. And then, is it, it's this cryo whopper flat. What the heck? That's crazy actually. Here, let's just line it all up. Kill those guys in the back too. That did not kill them at all. Alright, so we got that last track, and you can see the target's actually right here. Normally, you would have to actually search for the target by using your elemental side again, and it'll tell you where it is. But as it said, the target uh, takes no physical damage, but takes increased elemental damage. As you can see, it's taking 52 ticks from our um, fire on the ground. So we're just going to keep wailing on him with these. And we're going to hit him with a little ult. So now the Luke's basic attack is elemental. Once again, make sure that you don't get hit by anything. Um, getting hit by anything from these guys is going to pack a punch really since he's doing that I'm just gonna switch over to Barbo I'm gonna heal up to Luke real quick Switch to Barbara. So she can just tank the damage real quick. And we're about done already. But as you can see, if you can just dodge everything, you should be perfectly fine. Or uh, use some, you know, ult uh, invulnerability phases to help you dodge some things. 
Having Deluc really helps here. Okay, so this one didn't pack as much of a punch, actually. He just hit me for, what, 4k right there? Um, he, they don't drop any items, as far as I can tell. From the two that I've killed, I haven't gotten a single item. But now, you just head back to the uh, reputation lady of this specific city. Take a drink from my Wendy's cup. No, this video is not sponsored by Wendy's. Um, and then you just turn in the bounty with them. And you can see right here, I can claim yet another one. It's a different target. It, this one's a Ruin Hunter. A uh, different area with different random special traits. Um, invulnerable to Pyro, Anemo damage, and takes increased crit damage. So, um, another thing, the requests right here. Uh, I would just say, uh, honestly, with all of these, I would just say focus in on one city at a time. Um, go ahead. I I'm, I'm maxing out Mondstadt first since there's no additional quest for it or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and try and max it out. Um, get level 8 on here and then I'll just go and do all of my leeway um, after that. And you can see at level 4 here, I also get a, a discount with the Mondstadt Merchants. I'm not sure how much that is. I'm actually very intrigued by that, and I want to find out about that because I do enjoy buying things from the general uh, goods store. Uh, just some, like, you know, materials to stock up on. But, uh, anyways, that's going to be it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a like or comment down below telling me what you thought. Uh, and subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.